Being a man was once such a simple task. It wasn't a choice or a subject of question. It was more so a statement. I am man, so listen to me. I rule the world and make the rules and provide strength, comfort, protection. I could save a damsel. I could fight a dragon. I could win a war. I can't even put together a freaking coffee table. You still working on that? Nice to see you too, honey. Want to trade? I have so many questions. Like, um, where did you get this? Why did you get this? And what's quinoa? It's quinoa. Super healthy. It's supposed to be good for the baby. You know what today is? Yep. Ovulation day. The worst time of the month. The world is a different place now. Masculinity has changed and revolutionized itself into far more subcategories than one man's brain can handle. You are not a man because you were simply born with a penis. Nope. Your level of masculinity is judged, criticized, and ridiculed, and declared by sets of standards and social norms. How you look, how you dress, what you eat. Okay, so uh, dinner's done. The table's ready. Didn't you wake me? Huh? Do you not know how much ovulation time I've wasted? I can't do this by myself! In today's time, a man has to be fearless. <laughs> Athletic and agile. What? And, of course, handsome with just the right amount of humor. And on top of all of this, he's expected to plant his seed in a woman he's already had to swoon, marry, and care for? <clears throat> uh, hey, it's Ashley, right? No, just, just Ash. Brad, I'm your new supervisor. Nice to meet you, sir. Sweet Jesus. Uh, Sweet baby Jesus. The Lord himself must have literally handpicked this man's genetics. Holy mother of beards. It's beautiful. Swing by and ask. Good deal? Yeah, thanks, Beard. Brad. Yeah, that's one change that's going to be happening around here. Facial hair is 100% accepted. So there's no reason to keep it smooth, chap. Oh, man. I'm so screwed. What? No, I don't have time to come pick up the kids. Where's the sitter? It's fine. It's cool. I need coffee. Oh. Wow. Guess I'm the only one that didn't get the memo. So no one told me, and now everyone at the office thinks that I'm some kind of hairless loser. Uh, Are you even listening to me? Yep. Same shit for two hours now. What? I just think you might be acting a little crazy. Oh. I'm crazy. Have you seen yourself? This is not crazy. It's Viparita Karani, Ash. 
It's actually quite calming. Pippa, what a? Thickening my uterine lining. You know, for the benefit of our child. Right. The child that we don't have. You're right. We don't have a child. And you don't have a beard. So what are you gonna do about it, Ash? You gonna sit around bitching? Or are gonna get out there and do something about it? In order to maintain a proper beard, one must maintain a healthy lifestyle. This includes taking vitamins A, C, D, biotin, and keratin. And those. It's important to fill your body with healthy foods. It's also wise to stray away from unhealthy substances, like alcohol. Be prepared to get out of your comfort zone. Lubrication and stress release is also key. Um. Oh, and don't forget physical fitness. 12. That's a major priority. Don't stop, come on. 13. Go. Go. That beard's not gonna grow itself. You got this. I think I might be a homosexual yeah. now. And I really don't know what to do about that situation. What's up, dudes? What's up? Hey. Okay, so a church or he was there. Um, excuse me. Can I help you with something? Yeah, you're kind of in my desk. Ashley? Come here. Long time no see, kid. Are you here to get your stuff? I see you met your replacement. I tried calling you, but... What? You're fired, obviously. You haven't been here in like three weeks, man. I thought you died or something. Three weeks. You should, you should probably get that cleaned up. Yeah. 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 Three weeks! Replacement? He doesn't even have a beard! some bad news. I got some good news. <laughs> what? No freaking way! We're gonna have a baby? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So, uh, what's the bad news? I got fired. Well, obviously. You haven't been working like three weeks. Yeah, well, I had other things on my mind. My world is a different place now. I've traded my facial hair for fatherhood and learned there's more to manhood than a set of standards. Diapers and formula, rattles and binkies, sleepless nights and feeding schedules. Being a man was once such a simple task. Now, it's the greatest task of all. <laughs>